It is impossible to begin to learn that which one thinks one already knows. Look well into thyself. There is a source of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. All cruelty springs from weakness. We all sorely complain of the shortness of time, and yet we have much more than we know what to do with. Our lives are either spent in doing nothing at all, or in doing nothing to the purpose, or in doing nothing that we ought to do. We are always complaining that our days are few and acting as though there would be no end of them. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. Remain steadfast and one day you will build something that endures, something worthy of your potential. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what he said of you, but answer. He was ignorant of my other faults, else would not have mentioned these alone. When you rise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. A gift consists not in what is done or given, but in the intention of the giver or doer. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he's going. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny. For what could more aptly fit your needs? You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. You act like mortals in all that you fear and like immortals in all that you desire. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. Nothing to my way of thinking is a better proof of a well-ordered mind than a man's ability to stop just where he is and pass some time in his own company. To live a good life, we have the potential for it if we learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference. Seek not the good in external things. Seek it in yourselves. Your best revenge is not to be like your enemy. If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. You have to assemble your life yourself, action by action, and be satisfied if each one achieves its goal as far as it can. No one can keep that from happening. But there are external obstacles. Not to behaving with justice, self-control, and good sense. Well, but perhaps to some more concrete action. But if you accept the obstacle and work with what you've been given, an alternative will present itself. Another piece of what you're trying to assemble. Action by action. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasures, but the foolish to be a slave to them. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought. For the human spirit is colored by such impressions. Every night before going to sleep, we must ask ourselves, what weakness did I overcome today? What virtue did I acquire? Throw me to the wolves and I will return leading the pack. 
No great thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a fig. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I will answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. Life is never incomplete if it's an honorable one. At whatever point you leave life, you leave it in the right way. It is whole. Do external things distract you? Then make the time for yourself to learn something worthwhile. Stop letting yourself be pulled in all directions. But make sure you guard against the other kind of confusion. People who labor all their lives but have no purpose to direct every thought and impulse towards are wasting their time, even when hard at work. Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. We've been using them not because we needed them, but because we had them. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Be discriminating about what images and ideas you permit into your mind. 